as his raging pecs met her moist bosoms. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry, I'm doing my other job as well. Hello! Oh, man! All right, guys. As I'm slowly losing my mind, a couple good things about me lately. I got some purchases, some pickups. And I sold something on eBay, and, you know, I got some money, so... Very good thumbs up, super duper de duper. So I was able to pick up a couple of things with that. Now, I was originally planning to get Fire and Ice. I will get people going, oh god, Daniel, you shut up about that game. I'll I'll freaking burn you a ROM for that. How about that? Don't worry about it. I'm getting it later on on the line. So, all right. Got a couple purchases though because I like to go bargain hunting, and that's my fetish, my sweet sexy fetish. I usually pick up games that I originally enjoyed or games I've potentially played in the past and I actually enjoy. I just don't buy bulk games, buy 600 of these consoles. I buy consoles that, buy for my consoles rather than I know I will play and enjoy. So, alright, let's slap some shins and let's get going. Also, by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to be eating something. I'm going to see how fast I can eat it. It's a challenge to anybody else as well. So, alright. The You Don't Know Jack Mach 2 for the PlayStation. I got this for two bucks at uh, the local savers. The disc is in all right condition, and you know I played You Don't Know Jack when I was when it first came out on the PC. It was a really fun game. Like my, me and my family used to sit down, or me and my brother for that matter, just to, just to sit down and just play it together. Actually, yeah, it was me and my mother and my brother. We, all three of us would just sit down and play the game together. We'd have like our little buttons on the keyboard. We would press it. Then we'll screw somebody, which that was the uh, make people answer the questions, I believe it was. But either way, I haven't necessarily played this version at all. I just like the You Don't Know Jack series in general. I just thought they were really, really quirky and fun uh, trivia games. Great for fun for playing co op or playing against each other. Two bucks. I'm starting to build my PlayStation collection, so it's a good thing. Next game I got here for Super Nintendo, which has one of those dreaded evil um, void stickers on the back here is uh, Natsume's Championship Wrestling. Now, I call this called as N-A-W, or Na, but it was actually a C. I missed up. I, that's why it, the name threw me off at first. I picked up uh, Na, Na, Natsume uh, Championship Wrestling because I, just, I played this like about half a year back on an emulator, and I, was, I thought it was really fun. I mean, it's, the controls are a little bit of a learning curve for some people, but... It's actually a pretty good fighting, or sorry, wrestling game. I said fighting game. A, res, a pretty standard uh, wrestling game. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, arcade style um, wrestling games I played on the arc. It's Again, the control is a little bit challenging. It's kind of like pro wrestling, which, again, I played pro wrestling in the past, and I played it now. And I have to give it, do, I have to probably have to review that game again because I kind of gave it a really piss poor review, uh, pro wrestling for the NES. And I am going to redo it again because I played through it a little bit more, got used to it, and I pretty much got to give it a fair review because, eh, whatever. Um, this game is a more of a recent purchase, it's something I picked up because I've seen a lot for it, like a lot of opinions about it. People say it was a good game, just not a lot of people really purchased it, so that's why I got knocked down bargain bins and all that, and it was really disappointing. I mean, most of these type of games, it they're really good, just no one really, yeah, this game's like... I picked this up brand new sealed, uh, the Saboteur, Frenchie, and it also came, you know, complete obviously because it's brand freaking new. It came with something in here which I thought was actually kind of funny. A ticket, which is a code to unlock the nudity in this for a scene. And I thought this was actually kind of cool, like I'm probably going to keep this somewhere after I, you know, obviously use the code. It comes with a book and manual, which is thin as hell, it comes with a disc, blah blah blah. But I just thought that, that nude code thing was actually kind of funny. I, I got a kick out of it. My dad will too. I'm going to show it to him after. He's like, look at his dad. I got a past or nudie show. He's like, you go, boy. You go. But Saboteur for the Xbox 360. I've been trying to hold back on getting 360 games lately because I've been trying to focus on my PS3 one, ones if I find them in the wild. But, you know, 14 bucks I paid for this sealed, so can't go wrong. And I've been really looking at the game anyway, so it's... Served me right to uh, wait, I guess. I mean, I got both consoles anyway, so to me, the, the war rages on. But All right, the next thing I picked up here is actually something from Taco Bell. 
and it's sort of an inside joke with everybody on uh, YouTube. Uh, me and Alec John kind of started this at first. It was kind of funny. It was me and me and Alec John are in uh, PM, and me and because um, Luke, he was sending Luke. Um, I forgot exactly what he sent Luke. He like I would send him like dinner kits, like uh, the Taco Bell dinner kits. Like uh, me and Mystery, we, we sent him a dinner kit. So we just it was sort of an ins an inside joke that always kept on raging on, and so people kept on sending uh, poor Luke these sauce packets. <laughs> Which I think um, it's overdue. I should probably send Luke some of these newer sauce packets in the future, because he's like these uh, new flavors: oven roasted and uh, verdame or verde, verde, verde. Is that correct? I, I can't. I'm bad with uh, English. So, all right. What I'm you guys see these sauce packets? So you probably assume you already know what I have in this box or this bag. Is this mother effer right here? This thing is huge. The XL or the double XL Chulupe. And oh my god, guys, they're not kidding. This is big. I got the chicken one because I see people commonly get the beef one. And I was just like, I want to see the other ones, you know. But this is the freaking thing right here. It, for, to camera's right length, it looks really small, but to me, it looks massive. It's pretty big. I'm not shitting you. Like, you want to call Americans fat? This is one of the reasons why. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna spread some of this love. Some of this. Um, now, me and my mother were sitting in the car trying this. So I was like pouring some on her. I was giving some of this to her because she wanted to try. I let her try it, and she was having a uh, normal crunchy shell taco. I was treating her, you know, because you know she. Um, Helps me get around in certain places because I'm, you know, not driving. People go, you're a loser. I know. <laughs> no. But, alright, I'm going to also put some of this fire roasted on the taco. Give my open opinion about this beast. Kind of barbecue y. The uh, oven roast. It kind of tastes like a barbecue. But all right, we're gonna pick up this monster, and we're gonna pop it right in my mouth. So I'm gonna pull my microphone away so that way I can eat it. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna see if I can shove this whole damn thing in my mouth. That's good. What's especially with the oven roasted, it goes awesome with the chicken. Nice cheese sauce in there, some sour cream. I love sour cream on uh, tacos. Hmm. I'm sorry, Luke. <laughs> Sequel to Alec John's masterpiece. All this really is is a deep fried pita. It tastes awesome, though. It tastes like a uh, biscuit. Oh, no, you don't. Last bite. Not bad. 
I like the the fire roasted on that that um, chalupa. Now, if you guys are gonna eat it, I'd heavily recommend. Uh, sorry, I would heavily recommend eating it with the fire sauce, so they fire roasted. It isn't hot. I was watching some review, and this guy was like, sounded like an idiot when he was doing it, but. He was talking about how the sauce was like, oh, it's purple. The purple looks gay. And I'm like looking at his shirt and it said the rock on there. And it was like, it sh the, cut the font was paint purple. And I was just like, you know, it was like, okay, you're calling purple and pink gay, but you're wearing purple on your shirt. Hypocrite. Anyway, I hear it start trouble with people. But I just thought it was amusing. But. Again, I conquered the XXXL. Now, I want you guys to do a little bit of a homework for me. I want you guys to time how long it took me to eat that entire chalupa, or the double XL chalupa, and try to try it yourself and see how fast you can eat it without, you know, obviously choking yourself to death. I mean, if you can't do it, don't do it. If you're not that type of person to do it, don't bother. You know, just try it yourself and get, tell me what you guys think of them. I, I thought it was excellent. It was an awesome tasting, uh, I could probably make it myself at home, but... Again, I thought it was awesome. It tasted great. And it isn't really often eat fried foods like that. And, hmm. I wish I had a second one. It was delicious. Chicken one was really good. I'm not sure about the beef. Oh, not the beef. The um, hamburger one. Well, the hamburger one, as everyone likes to call it. Uh, pardon me. It was sort of a treat for myself. I don't really eat that type of crap often, so. Meaning a, uh, drinking a Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Pardon me, which are, uh, I really like this drink a lot. This is the only one available at Taco Bell. I mean, I like Taco Bell because, they, th granted, they use, like, freeze-dried ingredients. I just think the ingredients have to be done being freeze-dried are actually kind of good. Like, tomatoes are great. They're, they taste really good. The cilantro, I can taste cilantro in there. It's Tex-Mex. It isn't true to Mexican Chinese, or not Mexican, I almost said Mexican Chinese food. There we go. Uh, Mexican food, but I think it's great nonetheless. I mean, it's great for every once in a while, a nice snack food, a nice, you know, grab your hands full and just shove it in your damn face when you're really hungry or you're stoned out of your damn mind. But, you know, I eat like a stoner even though I don't do any of that stuff, but either way, tell me guys what you think of all the pickups and the purchases as well as the food. And uh, as always, keep it regular. I'm sorry this video was not HD because I'm quite ADHD minded. Woo!